Good evening, everyone. My name is Benjamin, and today I'm doing something a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm talking about a current event, and specifically one person's one person and their take. And I'm going to be very briefly or kind of describing what was said in the decision not to grant the writ of certiorari to <clears throat> a Pennsylvania election challenge. Now, this challenge was, it wasn't a challenge to the votes that were cast or a recount petition or anything like that. It was stating that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court had no legal right to change the deadline for mail-in ballots to be received. The court denied certiorari in a 6-3 to three vote. You only need four votes to get a writ of certiorari, basically, for the Supreme Court to hear the case. Out of the nine justices, you need four to determine that the case is worth hearing. It is the justices who voted to grant the writ of cert, as is in shorthand known, were Thomas, Alito, and Gorsuch. Thomas's dissent is particularly scathing. Now, anybody who follows the Supreme Court knows that Thomas has some very entertaining judicial opinions, um, and that his opinions are always a very good read. Um, and that he writes a lot of opinions. This one may, in my opinion, turn out to be his masterpiece. It may turn out to be the most consequential opinion he will write while on the bench. And given that he's already served 28 years on the high court, he was appointed in 1992, so yeah, 28 years on the high court, that's a bold claim, but... And I don't say this when I disagree with a judicial opinion very often. There are times when I will say, yes, this was dead, dead wrong. But most of the time I will simply say, no, I, I disagree with the opinion. And I think that it was wrong because, 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 because. But I think the decision not to grant cert to this case was the wrong decision because it is very important for the nation to have this case heard because it's going to prevent future challenges if it's decided now or at least it should help alleviate future challenges or make them less common and the, sorry, it, it did kind of snow a little bit. But anyway, Pennsylvania had a deadline of 8 p.m. on election day for mail-in votes to be received. However, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court decided to overturn that three days before the election and give an additional three days to get in. Now, it isn't unheard of for courts to extend deadlines in an emergency situation. Basically, let's say uh, voting machines go out in a polling location. Well, they will typically grant an extension from the time, you know, of two hours or three hours or something like that, like that, as soon as they can find a way to get the voting machines back up. Um, 
of course, the rules basically everywhere are on election day or in early voting, if you're in line when polls officially close, you still get to vote. Because you're in line waiting to vote. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. Um, but this is a very different case. Because this was a change in the election law in and of itself. And Thomas argues that the Constitution only grants the state legislatures the power to do this. It does not grant state courts, or any court for that matter, to determine election law. And that while this change did not affect the presidential election, by the way, a lot of commentators and news organizations have said that this dissent shows that Thomas bought into Trump's lies about fraud and election. No, Thomas is saying this wouldn't have affected the outcome. And we are lucky for that. But Thomas states in the next sentence, we might not be lucky the next time something like this happens. We might find ourselves in a situation where an outcome is changed by a change in the rules in the middle of the game, you know, in the middle of the election cycle, while people are voting. He says, Thomas, he states that we, we as the court, basically. Um, he states that the court has an obligation to solve this issue, to solve this case of whether or not courts can change election law before the next election happens to prevent any question of the integrity of the election. And in order to determine whether or not you can change the rules in the middle of the election and to determine who has that power. Thomas isn't indicating which way he would have ruled if the writ of certiorari would have been granted. He's just stating that it is extremely wrong that the court did not hear this case. Because it is of grave importance to the integrity of our elections that the case be heard. Thomas is stating that you can't change... Thomas is stating not necessarily that you can't change the rules in the middle of the election cycle, but he does actually state that. He's stating that we need to determine who has power to make election laws in America... Because if courts can make that determination as well as the state legislatures, no one will know which group to listen to. Do you listen to your elected officials or do you listen to your state's judges or your circuit court judges or your appellate court judges or your district court judges? Who do you listen to when it comes to election law? And that when disputes on who is in charge of running the election happen, you will get people claiming different outcomes. You will have two people claim to be victors under different rules. And he says that is far more damaging to election integrity than fraud. Fraud can be solved. If you allow election integrity to be affected by not specifying who has ultimate authority in determining election law, that is far worse. That is what Thomas is stating. And I think he is absolutely right. 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Likes, comments, and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. And uh, I hope you all have a very lovely evening and a very lovely weekend. I'm going to be uh, live streaming uh, sometime tomorrow evening probably closer to nine than I have been simply because I want to see if I basically want to see that if uh, my internet holds up better after nine anyway take it easy y'all have a very lovely evening